Okay, hello there viewers, it has been quite a while. Today I would like to explain a little bit more regarding Romain and range. Okay, um, if you see the graph here for x squared plus 3, okay, if I draw a graph from the x-axis, draw a line from the x-axis and I can hit the graph, it means I, uh, it has a domain within that. So until how long can I draw a line until I hit the graph? Well, we know that the graph of quadratic it will go forever. So if I will always hit the graph from positive infinity and I can also hit the graph at negative infinity. So in the case of quadratic, I, the domain is all real numbers. Okay? Or alternatively, you can write down in this term negative infinity until infinity. I prefer to write down in all real numbers because it sounds a lot cooler. And of course, if I can write it a bit longer, and I can get it into my name. Okay, so yeah, be smart. <laughs> so what about the dome? What about the range for this time? Okay, for the range, we use we draw the arrows from the y-axis. So here I will hit the arrow. I will hit the arrow. I will hit the arrow. I will hit the graph. I draw. I will hit the graph. And. Three, I can still hit it, but over here, I'm hitting nothing. Okay, so with a negative as well. So since I did not hit any graph at this point, so that means I do not have the range of that. And I only hit the graph at this point here. So there's a range for the, here. So, and there's no range down here. So how should I write down my answers? Well, we start to hit the graph at 3. So this is how I write down my answers. The range is from 3 to infinity. Because we, we will hit the graph until positive infinity. In exams, we are required to write both. So you need to put a conclusion. So the domain and range. Domain is all real numbers and the range is 3 until inf positive infinity. Okay, you guys okay? Now what about for this one, for square root graph? In this case, it says square root of x minus 3. As I have mentioned just now, for domain, we draw here from the x-axis and we hit the graph. And of course, this is over there. So I can say there's a, there's a domain for this part. But what about here? I'm hitting nothing. So it starts at after, after negative 3. So here there's no domain. So since I start to hit the graph when it was negative 3, so it's the answer is the domain is from negative from sorry I got it wrong there. The domain is from negative 3 until infinity. and close bracket. Why is it a close bracket? Because I can hit the graph when it's at negative 3. Right? Even I miss my negative sometimes. So please don't be like me. <laughs> okay, what about the range? As I mentioned just now, range we use from the y-axis. We can hit the range there, we can hit the range there, and so on. And we can hit it here. So there's a range over there. So here there's the range, it's okay. What about down here? I'm hitting nothing. So there's no range down here. So in this case, the range I'll say it starts from like from remember the range we read from the y-axis from zero until infinity. Okay, I always ask a student, um, do we got zero? Is zero included or why must it be close bracket? Because it touch it, because it meet there. Or I can also say the same here. Why do we got negative 3 here? Well, the easiest way I always tell my student, try and press square root 0 in your calculator. What will you get? So, they get 0. So I said, yeah, then 0 is included. <laughs> because sometimes students, they, they need to trust the calculator more than the lecturers. So it goes like that. Okay, so 
how we write down my final answers, we need to write down both range and domain. So it will be this. The domain is from negative 3. Yeah, that one is still wrong. Negative 3 until infinity. And close bracket there. And open bracket for that one. And range is from 0 to anti infinity. Okay. Now, there's other graph as well. So what about exponent? Graph of exponent. Uh, for those who haven't yet watched the video of exponent, let me tell you one thing. It, for here, it goes up very quickly. And at the same time, for this part here, it only getting and it got near to zero. It gets near to zero. But never reach zero. Only get near. So what can we say about this one? Uh, let's try the domain first. So the domain, it hits here, it hits there, it hits there. I mean, it will always hit the graph. Pump, pump, pump. You can see that. And the graph can go more on, on and on and on. So that means we will always hit the graph or the domain from negative infinity and to infinity, or I can just write down all real numbers. Okay. For the range, as I mentioned just now, we go until infinity. We go until infinity. And what about down here? As I mentioned, it only getting near to zero, but it never reaches zero. Okay, only near to zero, but it never reaches zero. So for this case, the range is from zero until positive infinity. And what about the zero? Is open bracket. Why is it open? Because it only get near to zero. But it never reaches zero. Right, so if you do not trust that, okay, let's try this one. So let y equals to 0 because we, we're checking the y-axis. And then 0 equals to ex. So for this one, we do equation of y equals to ex. So when you replace the y as 0, and then you ln both sides, ln 0 equals to ln ex. And then you can check with your calculator, ln 0 is error. So there's no x value for that. Okay, so remember for the exponent graph, the range starts from zero until infinity. Of course, you need to write down both of both of it, domain and range. So it be domain is all real numbers and range is zero until infinity. Okay, for our last example, we try the ln graph. For those if you haven't watched the ln video yet, uh, ln is an is an inverse of exponent. So in this case, yeah, uh, let's try this one first. So let's try the domain first. Yeah, 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 I need to tell that. So in this case, it only near to zero. But it never touched zero. So if we try, it's going to hit all the graph here until positive infinity. And over here, it only, like I mentioned just now, near to zero. So the domain for this case is zero until infinity. And I've mentioned last time, it hits nothing over here, so, it's, so there's no domain over there. And yeah, uh, ln is an inverse of exponent. I'll talk about that a bit more later. So what about this one here? Well, the range we are doing from the y-axis, so it hits the graph, it hits, it hits the graph every point. And this one, it will also hit if we draw the graph further on. So the range is all real numbers. And I will conclude it as the domain is zero until infinity and range with all real numbers. Okay, so for the domain and range, just just do like how I did. Just draw the arrow. Does it hit the graph? And it will tell you whether it has domain and range. And as I mentioned just now a bit about the exponent and ln, you can see it for the exponent here. The domain and range is there. Domain is all real numbers. So range is zero until infinity. That's for exponent. A new graph that you haven't learned yet. And for the ln. It's just a switch of it. Okay, this is for the lawn. Alright, I think that's all. This is just a short video. So I highly recommend please watch the rest of the videos that is going to help you out even more on how to draw a basic graph. Okay, that's all. Please comment, share, like and subscribe. And if you have any question, please drop your question in the comment down below. And thank you for watching. Bye. All the best for your exams.